Proverbs 4 5 9. 5. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of my mouth. 6. Do not abandon her, and she will guard you, love her, and she will watch over you. 7. The beginning of wisdom is, acquire wisdom, and with all your possessions, acquire understanding. 8. Prize her, and she will exalt you, she will honor you if you embrace her. 9. She will place on your head a garland of grace, she will present you with a crown of beauty. Many times in the book of Proverbs, Solomon calls wisdom she this is from a man who had pretty 700 wives and 300 concubines. But did having all the women to give King Solomon love and attention provide him with wisdom and understand? Is having wisdom and virtue like having famine traits, to be sweet, supportive, expressiveness, and tender-hearted? My mom likes to keep a clean house and it seems it always needs more cleaning. The famous say, cleanliness is next to godliness isn't really a Bible verse, neither is, God helps those, who help themselves, the Bible does say the being holy is being clean so for a person to have clean holiness, he or she will need to know God and have his wisdom and understanding. Priests and pastors are given the gift to teach God's word to who desires to listen and learn, but on the same level, the priest and pastor are to be clean and holy themselves. Ezekiel 44 22 And they shall not marry a widow or a divorced woman, but shall take virgins from the descendants of the house of Israel, or a widow who is the widow of a priest. 23 Moreover, they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and the common, and teach them to distinguish between the unclean and the clean. A pastor's wife role is just as important as her husband's job and duty to the church. A pastor is just as human as you and me, with her feminine traits and her virtue, she will give her husband support, kindness and be tender-hearted when a strong man of God feel weak. I have no wife or even a girlfriend, I have a mother and she helps me a great deal, and I help and honor her. I recently met a lovely daughter of the Lord, on social media, Jenny is her name and she is really on fire for the God of Abraham, Isaacs and Jacob. I go to her for advice and she gives me counseling or just listens to talk. I feel bad when she is talking and interrupt her conversation and she say, my lanta. My old friend Sarah, who I have known since my wild youth, has given me wise words and encouragement from time to time. We were talking once about the Lord, and she asked how to be saved, and I asked her if she knew. John 3 16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Sarah said, Yes, so I told what Scripture means by that, confess Jesus as Lord with your mouth and believe in your heart and you Sarah will be saved. Romans 10 9 Because, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. 10 For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. So I asked her if she would like to do the sinner's prayer, she said she didn't know how to pray, so I just just repeat after me. So I to her to say these word, I Sarah am a sinner, I believe Jesus is the Lord, I'm sorry for my sins, please Jesus come and I'll live in my heart, in Jesus name I pray Amen. If any of you want to learn more about Jesus, ask me and I will help. God bless you all, Jesus the one and only so of God loves you and so do I Samuel J. Head. 1 John 1 8 If we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. 9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous, so that He will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Need more help? Chat on WhatsApp.